Hello and welcome to the latest video. In this video, I am doing a watercolor painting of poster art from one of my favorite horror films known as Alice Sweet Alice. Now, before I explain about why I love this movie, allow me to talk to you about the man who introduced me to this classic film. He is none other than the angry video game nerd himself, James Rolfe. And if there is a um, 0.00090% chance that he'd ever acknowledge this art video as himself, I do want to thank him for introducing me to this beautiful piece of horror cinema. I know I sound flowery, flowery and pretentious as hell, but I do mean my compliments towards James and his Monster Madness review show that involved the subject of Alice Sweet Alice. Without further ado, I will talk about Alice Sweet Alice. Originally titled as Communion and was released in 1976, a year before my mom was born. Neat. It is a slasher flick. Now, when I say slasher flick, I, I'm going to get groans and people in the audience um, of this video associating slasher flicks with uh, schlocky slasher villains such as Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Chucky, not Chucky Finster from Rugrats, Yadingus, Charles Lee Ray, and many others that aren't coming to mind to me right now. Anywho, Alice Sweet Alice feels different than the famous slasher flicks that I've mentioned earlier. It has a certain flavor that makes it different from its contemporaries. I guess it, it's the way it's shot, the way the killer is shrouded in mystery in the film, and, the, and best of all, no stupid, lust-driven teenagers that get murdered in the woods because the plot demands it. The movie is set in 1961 New Jersey, and it focuses on a mischievous yet troubled 10-year-old girl named Alice, who becomes a suspect in the brutal murder of her little sister at her first communion. Now, I don't want to get too much into the plot because I'd end up spoiling this in movie and the speed paint. I think it might be on Amazon Prime, so if you have Amazon Prime, go watch it. I do recommend it. Even though I can't talk about Alice Sweet Alice's plot in full, I can talk about the use of color in the movie and the setting. I really like the colors and the way they are used in this film, and to be honest, the yellow raincoat is iconic. The setting is also intriguing because it is a glimpse into the past between the setting itself and when it was filmed. In a weird way, Alice Sweet Alice inspired bits and pieces of my art. I wanted to incorporate it in that failed webcomic that I mentioned uh, last year, but oh well. I still hope I can and I can eventually incorporate this into some kind of comic. To anyone watching, I hope you enjoy my little fan art tribute to this underrated horror gem. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment if you can, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.